everybody. Hope you guys are all well. It's me, Marion, aka Miss Robix. And we have this wonderful patient here with a bit of discoloration. So there's really several causes of discoloration in the nail plate. One one of them is um, fungal infection. Uh, so when the fungus invades the nail, <clears throat> it can eat at the nail plate and cause some discoloration by leaving residue. Kind of like poo. <laughs> Most then there is trauma, so if you damage the nail root or damage anywhere on the nail, and it, it can form a blood blister underneath, and then that can cause some discoloration. Uh, something called melanichia. So melanichia is caused by <coughs> melanocytes, and sometimes they can. It's not cancerous, uh, well, most majority of the time it's not melanichia. Where it becomes. Um, and a malignant, and as the nail grows out, it can pull with the um, melanocytes. Is it okay? Yeah. yeah. So have more gold, Stephanie, please. Try one, please. And it can occur again in, in, in patients with trauma. We also see some uh, melanichia down along the side itself. So your melanichia can be on the nail bed, it can just be in the nail plate. Um, this melanichia is not concerned because it's not coming from the nail root. If, you, if there's any kind of complete line of darkness on the nail root, then you'll be concerned. And you can see that actually the nails are very, very wide. So there's most likely to be a history of ingrown nail that came up beautifully. Mm -hmm. Like that. Okay. So we're just going to clean off the nail bed. I'm going to see that the, it's the same as the other tail. It is the nail plate that has that discoloration and thickening that itself. So nothing really to concern about. <clears throat> and we're just going to clean down the nail bed. Remove all that tissue. Okay, fantastic. Okay, fantastic. Can we go off time? Oh. 
Leading. Voila. So I'm going to take that off for you, okay? Hi, Sasha Farrell.